Hello everyone. Welcome back to my crafting room. Deborah here. Been real busy and had no time lately to do any videos. Um, getting ready for the um, graduation, working on some projects there and scrapbook over there and making some things to go on the on the Etsy shop, you know, and so I've been doing some shopping and kind of just leaving things uh, setting until I finally get a chance to video some of this stuff. Um, a bunch of uh, a bunch of antique uh, shopping, um, some happy mail from from my sister-in-law. I asked her to send me something and she sent me a little bit more. Um, bought a little something on Etsy. Um, didn't know what all the fuss was about, but I'm about to find out because I wanted to get some of this sorry silk, you know, because I like to do tassels. And um, silk divine, one word, uh, Linda at Silk Divine sells sorry silk like you wouldn't believe. All colors. I uh, got the antique white. Uh, this was about $10 and shipping and handling wasn't so bad. I think it was $4.95 um, I think. $4.85. But um, I wanted to use some of this uh, instead of ribbon and ribbon and ribbon and you know and um, add a little bit of this you know give it a little bit more tassel you know so um, I think it's I think it's 60 yards but uh, um, I'll put a link down below and you can uh, go visit her shop Look at all the beautiful colors she has for these things. I've got a lot of spray, so I'm going to color my own. You know, um, when I be doing my boho journal, yeah, we want uh, to add our color to these. Um, in, the, in the Etsy shop, I have some digital um, coffee stain paper uh, for the folks that can't stand the smell. Yeah. These sure are coffee stained. So we have uh, we have um, zip files for uh, what is it? JPEG, PNG. I've got a couple of different ones uh, in there. So we have the the papers for. Copy, copy paper, the 20 pound, we have the 24 pound, which is the, um, the blue marbled, and just the regular, the regular papers also. So, got some uh, good design going uh, in the Etsy shop there for, these are just the, the good old copy paper. Got a, got a bit of a design kind of going on there, a little bit. But um, we're starting to do some digital, so check that out. The uh, Etsy.com shop that's cracking them. So, my sister-in-law has the old family um, cookbooks. Yeah, from the grandma, the great-grandma, you know, and... Uh, Asked if she could uh, send me uh, some of those recipes that I remember from years ago. I add them into my uh, um, food themed, you know, junk journals. And uh, she sent a whole bunch of pages. There are even some pages in here that look like they came out of some of these old books that I bought. So, yeah, got some good, got some good recipes in here. So, and she asked me if I'd like some doilies. 
Look at these. Aren't these cute? We've got some little ones and we've got some big ones. The bigger ones will look really cute. Wrap them around, uh, wrap them around a uh, book cover. So we got the hookup in the doily department. And thanks a whole bunch, Linda. Thank you. So the antique shopping took my honey up to the five and ten that I go to on some Wednesdays. You know, I told him about the book, The Recipes from Maine. If you have seen the other videos, the um, How to Cook a Bear Steak with a Bruin Sauce. Uh, I thought it said, first you have to kill a bear, but I was wrong. It says, first, catch a bear. <laughs> so, off you go. Once you catch a bear, you're good to go, because this might taste really good. So, thank you to all you people in Maine. <laughs> Uh, they have some big old glass cabinets, some uh, curio cabinets uh, at the shop there. And these were upstairs, and I would just walk by a lot of these cabinets, you know, not even thinking there might be something in there, but I still passed up on some things, though. But these are invitations. Only a dollar, and the package has never even been opened. How cute this will look. There was a box underneath the sewing machine, I said to the lady. There's a whole box of books, and I don't know what the price is. And she says, oh, they all have a price, you know, because we all make sure that there's a, you know, come on, lady, it's Saturday, and I know it's not Wednesday, and the really nice lady's not working there, but there's no price. So, sure enough, there weren't. So she gave me three books, a dollar each. Thank you. And, of course... I love Charlotte's Web. We all love Charlotte's Web. Our curiosity, what's the date? What's the date? 1952. Wow. And a couple other books. I got a long one because I thought if I folded it in half, you know, it would still look okay in a journal. Mr. Ed Emberley. He sure can draw. This is how you draw. You want to draw a dog, you make a bunch of lines. So, there you have it. Now I know how to draw a dragon. Another children's book. Not sure what the date is on this one, but it has some interesting pages for kids. Ages 8 to 12. So, another cookbook. Really cute colors. I may keep the one for outdoor cooking and give it to my honey. Because it's getting to be about that time of year when you start doing outdoor cooking. So, there you have it. Accessories. You need gloves. Yes, you do. So. This one was my awesome find. Only $8 for this book. Her name's Maud Humphrey. And apparently, back in her day, she made a lot of money off of drawing. She's married to a doctor. She made more money than he did. She really got famous in, in the money when she started uh, drawing pictures for advertising for companies. But they... She's a very beautiful woman. And it didn't dawn on me until after I started looking through all of these pages that... Her son's name is Humphrey Bogart. 
Yep. There's a picture of him in here somewhere. But um, these pictures of these little children, these little cherubs, they are so beautiful. I, I, I just, $8. Holy cow. I love this book. You know, I'm not going to find the picture of Humphrey. I'm not going to. It's in here somewhere, but I guess I'm just not going to find it. <laughs> so. Used a bunch of these pictures for Ramona's pocket letter. I cherish treasures. She's doing a giveaway. And we all sent her a pocket letter. So that's where I got my pictures for that pocket letter because she loves cherubs and, well, these children these pictures of them they certainly are so after we got done with that drive to the five and ten we went uh, down to had grace down to the Seneca cannery and uh, look for uh, a few more things there you know so this thing was taped shut for so long that literally destroyed the package trying to get it open It's a cutout card for something. Push out with a pencil. It's got a bunch of people's names on it, but um, no indication at all what this is for, but I don't think what I pay a couple dollars for it, maybe? Three dollars? Yeah. Oh, a little something for the, for the, the vintage uh, journals, yeah found a, a couple of books about mice and of course I'm, I'm crazy about the house mouse right now you know so I'm thinking I want to keep these for myself Tales of Two Bad Mice The Tailor of Gloucester Beatrix Potter I've got a book from mom um, it's like the only book I kept after my kids grew up and um, I'm probably going to put these with them. I would love to put some of these pictures in the in, in the journals, but gosh, I don't want to. You don't want to tear them up. They're so cute. When I found this book, I thought of Nick the Booksmith. She does a lot of stories. In her, in her journals, you know, about somebody or something, you know, the, she has these big stories and folks love the journals like that. And I thought of this story and all these pictures, she could make a fabulous journal with this book. And the um, person that illustrated uh, these pictures got some mad skills. I'm thinking before I do anything with this book, I'm actually going to read it. But uh, this would make an awesome story journal. Fabulous. How much should I pay for this thing? Five dollars. Oh, yeah. Five dollars. Yep, there it is. Got to find the date. Got to find the date on this one. This one is really pretty. I actually had a, a piece of paper in here to keep the, the ink from the other pages. I actually did it like a negative. But, um... That's a very pretty picture. I like that. Nineteen hundred and one. It's all fabulous find this book here. Okay, that's it for the halls. A little of this and that. So 
Off I go to working on some more stuff for graduation. We've been busy out in the yard this weekend and it's looking fabulous out there. My honey pulled up all the weeds. My daughter who's grand, uh, granddaughter who's graduating, she come over and helped fling a bunch of mulch all over the place and uh, the front yard looks fabulous now. So off we go doing more getting ready for the graduation. So until my next video, see you later.